Hi guys, welcome back to Matt Walker Fitness. So let's just get straight into it and I'll answer some of the questions you guys had in my previous video. Arkim asks, what goals do you have for rings and gymnastics? That's a good question. Uh, so I'm still working towards the strata planche, which is going to be a very gradual process. I want to get back my left arm for the one arm chin up because since gaining weight I've really been struggling with that one. Uh, I want to get a good form front lever again. And I'm also working towards the Calisthenic Kings 3 minute challenge, but I'll talk more about this later. Smack OO asks, what's your opinion on Jason Genova? I'm not, I'm not going to lie, I didn't know who this guy was. Um, I had a bit of a Google. It looks like he's pretty determined to break into the bodybuilding industry, and I wish him the best of luck in that. Benjamin Nutt asks, what was your bulking diet like? Um, to be honest, it involved a lot of eating, which everyone's going to say when it comes to bulking. Um, I would have a bowl of oats before I got to work. I would have a fruit smoothie when I got to work. I would have two lunches at work, split up by about two hours. Um, when I got home from work, I would have a pre-dinner, and then I'd have a big dinner at the end of the day as well. Um, and because my metabolism is really fast, I did also have mass gainer shakes as well, two a day. Most of my meals, apart from breakfast, would include some sort of meat, um, as well as a lot of carbs, like potatoes, uh, rice, or pasta. Comeback Quadsta asks, will you be trying to maintain your weight at 82 while you cut? Ideally, yes. I would love to stay at 82 kilograms and, uh, and cut off the fat. But given now that I'm going to be including cardio in my training, um, and I have a very fast metabolism, I don't think that's going to be the case. Calisthenics A3 um, is asking about my macros intake summary, what my body fat percentage was when I started, and uh, interested in seeing some squats and deadlifts. Sure, I'll show you some squats and deadlifts footage. Uh, my body weight fat percentage when I started was 17.4. Um, and to be honest, I don't count my macros, so I can't give you any info on that. For my body weight training over this six week period, I worked on my month three rings program from my Stronger series. Uh, I thought this would be a really good way to sort of get me back into the, the hardcore rings training again. As usual, I warmed up for the workout by doing skin the cats. After not having done muscle ups on the rings for a while, this was actually quite difficult. I tried to focus on having good form and straight arms at the base of the movement. To work the front lever, I worked on front lever negatives and then also front lever reps in the semi-tucked position. Straddle planche training involved reps between the L-sit and then the planche hold in the tucked position. I always make sure to exercise good practice by keeping my arms straight while in the planche position. The back levers are as strenuous as ever and I need to focus on tidying up my form a bit for these. At this point of the workout, I'll usually work reps of the one arm chin up. However, it never hurts to throw in a good old rope climb as a substitute. This was my first rope climb since the weight gain and it was really tough. The descent is always worse than the climb.
and to try and tone up that core a little bit, I threw in Superman's to polish off the workout. Majority of my cardio training over this six week period was running because I, I was in the early stages of working up to the 14 kilometer run City to Surf, which is held uh, in Sydney every year in, in early August, starting from the Sydney CBD and running to Bondi Beach. Given I hadn't done any cardio for the four month period while I was bulking, the first run was hard. It was brutal. I think it was maybe 2.5 Ks and I struggled. I really did. So let's just have a look at my, uh, my runs here. So this was measuring my distance while I was running. We obviously have to take this with a grain of salt because it's not entirely accurate. So as you can see, I was working up the distance a little bit and also trying to work on my pace a little bit. I made some pretty good gains in the lifting department, which is to be expected when you've taken some time off from it. I did have a lot of footage, but unfortunately I had to reset my phone and uh, I didn't have it all backed up. So I'm afraid all I can show you is what I've managed to get off my Instagram account. While I was getting back into squats after not having done them for a long time, my main focus was to steadily increase the weight over each workout. I applied the same gradual weight increase to deadlifts, but I was a bit more wary of these so as not to injure myself. Looking back on this footage, one comment I have is that I should pause between each rep rather than using any momentum from the bounce between them. In just one month, I made some really good gains on the bench, and this was my new 1RM of 107.5 kilograms. So how much weight did I lose over this six week period? I lost 1.8 kilograms, which is to be expected now that I'm including cardio in my training. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you're excited to see more. Also follow me on Twitter and Instagram at the Matt Walker with three T's. Again guys, feel free to ask any questions you might have and I'll answer them in my next video. See you then.